If you're still writing endless if formulas in Excel the old way, you're probably wasting hours and maybe even getting the wrong results. And the scary part is you won't even notice until your boss asks you why your spreadsheet was submitted with the wrong data. So today I'm going to save you from that embarrassment. We're breaking down the three most powerful logic tools in Excel, if, ifs, and the if and. And I'll prove it with two clear examples for each so you never get trapped by bad formulas again. All right, here's the big picture. If checks one condition, the ifs function checks multiple conditions, and the if and checks if multiple things are true at once. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one to use and when. So let's go ahead and start with the classic if function in Excel. So let's say you've got student scores in column E, and we want to decide if a score is above 65, if the student is going to pass, or if it's below 65, they're going to fail. So in column F, we're going to type equals if, and then we see our if function pop up. And then with our logical test, we're going to say if E4 is greater than 65, comma, and then we're going to put in quotations, pass, and then that would be our value if it's true. And then if our value, if the score is less than 65, we're going to put in fail, F-A-I-L, quotations, and we're going to close the parentheses and we'll press enter and boom. We see very quickly that Alice with a score of 92 has failed and we're going to drop it low. And we see that other corresponding students with a lower score than 65 have that fail next to their names. In our second example, let's imagine you're running a store. So if a customer spends $100 or more, they get a discount. Otherwise, they do not get a discount. So let's go ahead and put in this formula real quick. In column E, we're going to press equals if, press tab and select our function. And then we're going to select if D5 is greater than 100, we'll press comma and in quotations, we'll put discount. quotations and if it's less than 100 we'll say no discount and close our quotations and boom we see Adam with the spending $120 gets a discount but wait there's an issue Fiona spent $100 and she does not get a discount so what we're going to do is we're going to put in if a d5 is greater than or equal to 100 the customer will get a discount if they spend less than that there will not be a discount so we'll press enter We'll drop this down low, and now we see that Fiona, for spending $100, gets the discount by just adjusting the if function in a very quick fashion. And this is great because you can quickly filter if a customer gets a discount based on the dollar amount spent in column D. But hold on, what if you have more than two possible outcomes? That's where the ifs function comes in. The ifs function is like the if on steroids. It handles multiple conditions without endless nesting. But watch out because it only works top to bottom. The first condition that's true wins. So let's go ahead and take a look at a grading system and go ahead and apply the ifs function to our example. All right, so we got student scores again, but instead of just pass or fail, let's go ahead and sign grades. In this example, 90 and above will be an A, 80 and above will be a B, 60 and above will be a C, and anything lower than that will be an F. So let's go ahead and apply that to our example real quick. In cell E6, we're gonna press equals ifs and press tab. And then our logical test is if D6 is greater than 90 comma, and our value of true will be A, and we'll press comma. And our second test will be if D6 is greater than 80 comma, quotations B comma. And then our second, I'm sorry, our third logical test will be if D6 is greater than 70 comma C if D6 is lower than 70 comma we'll push in fail actually we'll just put an F and we'll close our quotations and boom we see that Aaron gets an A we'll drop it low and we see we get the associated grade with everybody because every parameter was met and then we see that the last one F is being met with Diana, Ethan, Fiona, Jenna and Kyle, unfortunately, it looks like I failed. <laughs> That's okay though. In our example, every condition is being met and so everyone gets an associated grade with their score with using the ifs function. But let's go ahead and take a look at another example real quick. All right, so for the second example for the ifs function, let's say that we work in supply chain and we're calculating shipping fees based on weight. So in this example, anything from zero to one kilograms would be $5 shipping, one to five will be $10, 
five to 10 would be 20, and anything above 10 kilograms would be $50 in shipping. So looking at our example real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and paste this one in real quick so I don't have to type everything out for you, and then we'll go ahead and examine it real quick. All right, let's go ahead and run through this real quick. So in the ifs function, if E6 is less than or equal to one, we'll charge $5 in shipping. If E6 is less than or equal to five kilograms, we'll charge $10 in shipping. If E6 is less than or equal to 10 kilograms, we'll charge $20 in shipping. And lastly, if E6 is greater than 10 kilograms, we'll go ahead and charge $50. We'll press enter. We see that that five shows up and we'll drop it low. And we'll, let's go ahead and format this real quick so we can see it. Perfect. So now we see our ifs function in action and we're able to charge our shipping. Let's go ahead and press Alt H F P for format painter. Let's go ahead and format that so it looks nice. And now we see that all of our charges are in line with the expected weight totals of our kilograms. And that's a super clean example of the ifs function in action. There's no messy nested ifs in there. It's just one simple function but sometimes you just don't need one condition. You need multiple conditions to be true at the same time. And that's where we bring in the if and function into Excel. All right, I want you to think of the if and like Excel's lie detector. It only says yes if every single condition is true and you missed one and it's gonna be a no. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example in Excel with bonus eligibility. All right, in cell F4, we'll press equals if a tab to lock in the function and we'll press and and this is where we want to set up our two parameters to meet the conditions so we can get to our if statement all right so if and and then we'll go to cell d4 for years worked and we'll say if you worked more than three years you get a bonus and then we'll put greater than and equal to three comma and then our second parameter is if you have more than thirty thousand dollars in sales you will get a bonus so we'll say e4 is greater than or equal to 30,000. Close that parentheses and then our value if true will be in quotations bonus. And if that value is false, no bonus for you. And we'll close that and boom, we see that Adam gets a bonus, we'll drop it low. And then we see if someone has less than four years of service and less than $30,000 in sales, sorry, no bonus both conditions must pass for this value to be true. In our last example, we're gonna have an example of free shipping. So customers only qualify for free shipping if their order is 100 hours or more and they're located in the US. So let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, in cell G5, we're gonna press equals if, and we'll press the tab to lock it in, and then we'll press and, and we'll press tab to lock in the function again. And we have two conditions that need to be met. The first is the order value needs to be greater than or equal to 100. And then the second is that the country of origin needs to be from the USA. So we're gonna say F5, the country, needs to be needs to be equal to, in quotations, USA. And then we'll close that. And then our value, if true, will be, in quotations, free shipping. And in quotations again, we'll put standard Oops. shipping and we'll close our parentheses and boom we see that Adam spent a hundred dollars and he's from the USA so he gets free shipping however Bella spent $95 and even though she's from the USA she does not get that free shipping so she will be charged the standard rate and this is airtight there's no more free shipping giveaways to people in Canada with $20 orders you've built the function in Excel to call out those types of orders and the if and has multiple use cases across Excel it just depends on what you're trying to achieve all right let's go ahead and wrap this up the if function is a simple yes no with checks the ifs function will have multiple conditions and there's no ugly nesting with the if function and the if and all conditions must be true mess these up and your spreadsheet lies to you. You get them right and Excel becomes your personal decision-making assistant. So now it's your turn. Drop a comment, tell me which formula you struggled with the most. And if this video saved you time or major embarrassment, hit that like button. It tells me to make more tutorials like this.